So when using natural baits, I'm using worms. And to attach these to my slip D with a hook ring swivel, I'm using a mainline pastel barrel wafter, and then I'm using a length of pole or marker elastic. And I'm gonna show you how I attach the worms. So I start with four to six inches of pole elastic or marker elastic. I pass that through the small eye on the hook ring swivel and taking both of the tag ends into your gated baiting needle on your cool tool, pull it into the bait. Now I find the best thing now, because it's rubber against the bait, is just to moisten it before pulling through. Then I take a, I use a really fine sewing needle as opposed to a bait needle because it's easier. I pop the elastic through the eye of the needle, simply thread three or four worms onto the needle and concertina them up. So just kind of zigzag them onto the needle. I like to put two, three, sometimes four if they're small, onto the needle at one go, and then just slide them off the needle, down onto the elastic, and just take off the needle at that point. And then using simple overhand granny knots, just do one, then another, and just keep doing granny knots until you've got a nice tight bundle of worms. The final knot, do as a double granny knot, or just go through the knot a couple of times before pulling tight. Trim off your tag ends, and there is your finished worm rig. The reason I like to do it this way is because the worms are held in place by elastic, which means they won't come off on the cast. They can withstand the attacks of little perch and other nuisance fish. There are other ways of attaching worms. For example, the wormer eye, which is great with a small piece of foam on a different presentation using a hair rig. But for a slip D presentation, this is the one I go for every time.